the dead is a miracle, doc. They counted me out. Moment of truth, counting it down. I'm that dog story was down for the count. Back on my feet, back with a mic, back on the beat, back with a family that bang in the streets. The game won't lock, I stand with a key. I'm standing my ground, I am planning a fleet. All right, we are here with Matthew Kachuk, and first of all, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. You're so sweaty right now, but yeah. I want to hug you. Yeah, I, I, I would ask, but I don't want to hurt the sternum. No, I mean, it's all good. We yeah. got to keep that in, in, in place because uh, the injury was uh, devastating, but thank you for the greatest season in Florida Panthers history. Seriously. Yeah. Memories that'll last a lifetime. Bus in 10, the walk-off. I already have started. I've commissioned a statue outside <laughs> of the arena of you sliding in celebration. Can't believe that's not the NHL 24 cover. Uh, thank you so much for a wonderful season. How is your health? Because the entire team was a mash unit yes after last season's playoff run yeah i i actually feel unreal right now and uh just like it feels like a new year but it also feels like it's just a continuation of last year which i think is a great thing for our team and we can kind of just bring in that that good mojo that we were having in playoffs and yeah we have a few guys that are going to be out early but I just think the mindset with all the core players with what we went through last season, like it's going to make us um, stronger at the start of the year. But um, we do have like a right amount of new guys where it feels very fresh. Is it hard at all to, because you got so close to the mountaintop, like you're here in, in training camp, like is it difficult at all to get like, get your mind, like start over again, essentially um, at the bottom of the mountain? Do you want, not necessarily. I think it took a little bit of time after the finals to, to get over it, but um you know, it's it's something that you just got to learn from. And, and we know the road to June is a, a long ways away. Oh, but the, the painful that road. Is, that is a, a uh, road, yeah. do you know what? But it's a rewarding road as well. Yeah. So um, we know what it takes to get there. We learned it last year. And uh, I think now it's just up to putting in the work right now to start the start that road. When you said you were a full go at media day, it really surprised everyone. Like, what went into your rehab? Just so many hours. Um, lots of. PT, lots of workouts, lots of treatment. Uh, good old PT. Um, uh, PT. Lots of rest early, which doesn't sit well with me. Um, but, like, I think all things considered, I probably had to work my hardest this summer out of all summers to get myself back to this point. And um, it, it's rewarding, I guess, because I feel good right now. And, um, you know, hopefully get into a few preseason games and, and start the season feeling fresh. I've seen some quotes of yours. I mean, you're get, you're a superstar. You're leaning uh, into it. You do all the media avails. We appreciate that. I've seen some quotes of yours describing the morning after you took that hit. Mm -hmm. I know Brady helped you out of bed, mm -hmm. and there are legendary stories about help, helping put your pads on. What can you describe? How can you describe that morning after that game? Which, by the way, you came back and had heroic moments. Yeah, I think that... Uh well, I heard it during game three, came back and played. We ended up winning that game. The next morning I woke up, obviously, you know, pretty sore. Um, you know, had to go do your MRI, X-ray, CT scan, like did all that. Oof. Um, they sent me. I went and did that, and there was something potentially scary, which thank God it wasn't. Um, so I had to go back and do another CT scan on one day. Mm. And I wasn't really like – I was hurting but not crazy. And then it not, was, not hurting at and all. Then yes. it was, it was Keep the, in mind, there was one thing that was potentially scary, not yeah. the fact that his body already looked like he was in a massive car accident. <laughs> there is, uh, there's some guy, um, yeah, there's some guys I had to go back and see. And then on um, Thursday uh, was the, the game four day. I woke up feeling worse. Um, went to the rink, felt better from treatment. I went down for my nap. And I, when I got up, it was like, I don't even, can't even describe that. So that's, that's when my brother helped me was to, before the game after the nap. So, um, yeah, tried my hardest and uh, – yeah, I can hold my head high knowing I did. Everyone talks about how painful hockey is. What's something in hockey that actually doesn't hurt as much as it looks like? Um, like a, a good old-fashioned check against the boards. Yeah, that's, I would, that's, I would that's say. light work. Yeah, I would say, like, <laughs> against the glass. Yeah. Like, the glass is pretty, uh, I wouldn't it's say it's a giving. cushion, but it's giving. Yeah, okay. so it doesn't. Unless it shatters. And, unless it shatters. That would, yeah. that would probably hurt. But I would say uh, one thing that hurts more than what you would think would be, like, a shot block. Oof, on, like on the shins? On, no, shins are fine, okay. but like if you get it on like <laughs> the pelvis, the foot, or like okay. the back Ooh, of the, the leg. Like, like oh, the extremities. Is. Yeah, or like a, off the toes. Ooh. Oh, the toes are the worst. Yeah. Going back into the game after sustaining that injury, like that's warrior mentality. Yeah. Or oh, are you crazy? Probably both, um, but I think hockey players 
Most of them would do the same. So thing. I'm watching you guys do these sprints. You guys are going a hundred times around the rank. Like I'm, my thighs are hurting watching you guys. But I notice every hockey player, the move when they're really tired, it's stick on the across the thighs, uh -huh. bent over like this. Yeah, uh, uh, I was always taught when we want oxygen, we go no, out of frame, yeah. we go hands on the head. <laughs> yeah, like what's, why is no why is no why do I want to see? That was just I, proven scientific. I you know see what? no hockey players doing this move. You know what? I do not care what. Science says when I'm tired, I'm putting my, my, <laughs> my hands on the knees and I'm trying to find any way possible to feel better for the next rep. That's hard skate, though, we do in training Dude, camp. I was, I was in pain watching it. <laughs> All right, new season. You have one more opportunity to ce celebrate what happened last year. That's the banner. You think it's going to be risen? Or is it going to be Unveiled. right there next to the president? Just, just have it, just have uh, it chilling there. Yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what their, their plan is uh, for that, but... I mean, super special memories. I'm sure that'll be like the one of the last times where I can really reflect on that. But um, our job is to put a new banner next to it this year. Hell yeah. You know, you're sweaty, but give me a hug for yeah, last can, year. Can, just give me can, a I, can, can we yeah, sandwich you? We'll be That's careful right. with the sternum. Yeah, 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 it's Chucky, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We fired Chris Whittingham because he wasn't yeah. on board. Yeah. So you'll be here. Bring the band in. Three straight people with green eyes. That's like really against the odds. Ah. All right, we're here with Josh Maher. This is your second year with the Panthers after coming in from Anaheim. Yeah, a bit of an uptick. You played every game during the regular season. How do you think your first year with the Panthers went? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it was good. I think personally, I took a lot of steps in in my game, and um, you know, just to be able to come here and uh, kind of go on the run that uh, we had. Uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. That's why you play. So I just think personally, it was um, it was just a lot of fun to be a part of, and uh, you're just pretty fortunate to be here. It would have been fun. If you didn't enjoy last season, yeah. you were just yeah, like, yeah. that was it pretty was lame, actually. Probably, you know what? It sucks. Probably like a four out of ten. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, you had a, a memorable moment, uh, one that I'm sure you'll never forget last season. Uh, from where I'm standing, face is looking good, but there's a little yeah. bit of a memory there, a little yeah. keepsake on yeah. the left cheek. Yeah, I think that was kind of the, the big talk for me this summer was yeah. coming around family and friends and uh, taking a peek at my left eye there. But uh, maybe next, healed up. Maybe this year we work this move in. <laughs> like, like, try to block yeah, out yeah. Hand a little bit. No, a lot I of know, Monday morning I, quarterbacks I, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. or maybe this move. Yeah, no, I know it's coming fast. God, you're, no, you're crazy know. for getting in front of the net like that. No, I. Uh, but I love you for it. I got I got a little bit lower of a visor this year, so there I mean, go. hopefully that helps a little bit. But yeah. uh, I'll try to keep an eye on the puck. Have you been having fun with it? Like, hey, get my good side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I think the left side might be my good side. Oh, now, oh right. So we'll see. Well, we'll you see. just get another one, even it out. Then <laughs> yeah. you have two good sides. Uh, I don't know if we'll do that, but yeah. uh, hopefully uh, not. I don't know. I mean, I think most people in the audience can can kind of piece together how much that hurts, but let's relive it a little bit. <laughs> uh, what exactly, like, is there a delay? Like, you see it coming, and you're like, this is going to hurt. Uh, and do you feel the pain almost immediately? Do you have the adrenaline surging through you that your or you first like, thought? Get me back on the yeah, ice is right your, now. Is your now. thought Stitch like yeah, I gotta get back out there for for my guys? What is what is your thought process in that moment as the competitive juices are flowing? Yeah, I think somewhere in between all of that is where you're kind of at. I like I, I don't know. I didn't really see it coming, but. Uh, I think the body was just kind of in shock. And then how uh, far down on the list is, do I still have an eye? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was pretty high on that. Okay. Yeah, good. So, good. Yeah. Was, was it two? As it should yeah. be. <laughs> so I think, um, you know, when I, once I looked down and saw the blood all over the ice, I was like, oh, damn, I'm, I'm a little in one here. So <laughs> were you like, damn, uh, that was my good side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was not the good no, side. So uh, once I got off, there was, uh, there was kind of that, that thought about wanting to get back in and, uh, honestly, at that time and, and the rest of that night, it wasn't too bad. It was kind of the next morning when I woke up. I should know the answer to this because I went to a lot of home games and they have the intro video of everyone's yeah. nicknames and hockey players always shorten things with a Y at the end of it. But Josh Mahura isn't the easiest name to Joshy come Bear. up with a, a nickname. Yeah, like Mahuri. Like, so Someone are told you, us Muzzy. Are, are you, Hurrah. Are you oh. Joshy? Like what? What is your nickname? No, I don't. The boys do not call me Josh. No. In the room, that's for sure. I mean, it's adorable. What are we yeah. calling you? What's yeah. the nickname? Yeah, no. The boys call me Muzzy in the room or Muzz. Muzzy. So oh, um, hey. kind of. Uh, I, I don't know exactly yeah. how it got going, but Muzzy. Um, Muzzy. That's been kind of sticking. I like and, Muzzy. And Muzzy I usually, it. Yeah. <laughs> how about maybe, someone like Scarface? How about Josh Bear? How about Scarface? Like, like, Scarface. Scarface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Something like instead of a room like that. Muzzy. It's just season outlook right here. Yeah, you know, I think just uh, we're just kind of focusing on the start of the year. I think last year, um, you know, we got off to uh, 
an okay start and kind of got behind the eight ball a little bit. So, um, you know, I think just being able to, to kind of hopefully bring in some of that energy from last year and um, bring it into the start of this year and just get off to uh, um, a good opening and a good first half of the games is, is going to be huge Let's get for in us. front of that eight ball this year. Yeah. 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 I hate being behind yeah, that. I know. It stinks. Yeah. It's like yeah. I want to shoot for that stripe over there, but I'm behind this goddamn eight. Who's the guy that's going to skate in front of you to take the puck to the face yeah. 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 next time? Lomberg. Uh, Lomby would be a good guess. True. All right, Josh. Thank you so much for taking the time. <laughs> Wait, one last question. Would you take a title last season and, and not watch movies for five years? One, I wouldn't watch a movie for the rest of my life. Oh, okay. no, so, there it is. Yeah. All right, we're here with Nick Cousins. Uh, he had to go in the playoffs. It was a pretty big one. It was the one that won the series against yeah, Toronto. <laughs> yeah. Um, you were there. You saw Racco Gudis rush into the ice, uh, rush into the goaltender. He made that big growl, that big roar at the end when you scored that goal. Like, what was the feeling? I mean, obviously a, a big moment for our team. Um, but, yeah, that, I remember uh, after the game – uh, we saw that picture. I was going around in our uh, team group chat for a while. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Samesies. Yeah. 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 That, that, I, mean, if, I mean, obviously it happened in Toronto, so the media obviously likes to blow it up there. I think ah. they're still talking about it this Love year. It. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, obviously a big play by him to drive the net, kind of take away the D to kind of open up the play for me. But, um, yeah, no, a big play by him. Um, and then obviously that picture after the game kind of goes viral since uh, the magnitude of the goal. But all in all, it's a good play all around. We well, were down 3 1 against Boston. What was the message in the locker room that Paul Maurice had for you guys? Just win one game. Huh. Yeah, win one game, get it back home. And then, you know, pressure's on, on, on them. And then, our, and then we just kind of feed off our energy at home. And then, you know, you win that one. And then. Back to Boston for Game Seven. And it's anybody's game, and oh, I mean, yeah, just mm. talking about it gives me you know, <laughs> Dude, gives me good right through this. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining yeah, us and yeah, continued you, success. Uh, thank you. If we win the Prince of Wales, do we touch it this time? Yeah. Uh, ooh, I would say yes, but that's not up to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys didn't learn your lesson, huh? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs>